Aisha, our mother, and the mother of the believers, radiallahu anha, she says, إِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِعَبْدٍ خَيْرًا When Allah Azza wa Jal wishes well for one of his servants, he appoints for him or her one year before their death an angel that guides them aright, that directs them aright, and inspires them, like motivates them towards those right steps, those right decisions. حَتَّى يُقَالُوا مَاتَ بِخَيْرِ مَا كَانَ Until the person winds up dying and people say, he died, she died in her best state ever. Person, as they're dying, uh, they are shown their reward. And so their soul, their spirit becomes anxious because they see this great reward. When they see their reward as they're dying, as the angel of death is there and they see their reward, their soul gets anxious. And that is the moment, she says, when a person loves to meet Allah and, and so Allah loves to meet them. Right? She us. continues. Why would Allah do that? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah wishes evil for a person, He appoints for him, He unleashes on him or her a shaitan, a demon, a devil, uh, one year before their death, a devil. And so that devil misguides them, confuses them, وفتنهو, and tempts them, meaning in the wrong directions. Hatta yuqalu mata bishari makan, until it is said when that person ultimately dies a year later. This person died at their worst state ever. As that person is dying, when they see the, the punishment that awaits them, فَزِعَتْ نَفْسُهُ Their soul panics. It becomes frantic and, and tries to hide. Uh, as we know from other ahadith, and that is when a person hates to meet Allah, and so Allah Azza wa Jalla hates to This hadith, I'm sure, has moved you. Especially if it was the first time you hearing it. I remember the first time I, I heard this hadith. It moved me deeply. And that, a part of that is because it's your first time hearing it. It's not as famous of a wording as similar hadith that say pretty much the exact same thing in Bukhari, in Muslim. And so there's a lesson there, front and center, that it's your job to keep your heart awake. And one of the ways to do that is to diversify, to change things up. When you hear something for the first time or hear it again after a long time, you know, it has a different effect. You know, it's just like blessings also. Like when, when Allah causes interruptions in our blessings, they have renewed value. Like I never felt grateful for my knee before till it started aching. And so you come back to those blessings anew. And so you need to like hold yourself accountable. Be, you know, self.